So today, let's talk about the Iranian space program. Iran has a space program, and they have successfully launched satellites into orbit. They also make their own satellites entirely in-country, and this might be one of the potential upsides, you know, if there are any, of of being under so much pressure from the U.S. and its allies for so long, decades and decades, basically. And so what Iran has done is built up its own aerospace industry. They have their own industries uh, covering a wide range of activities, economic activities. And now they're able to build their own rockets that can achieve orbit. Uh, they also are making their own satellites. So this is an article from AMN News titled, Iran's second satellite is ready for launch despite U.S. criticism. And this is late December, so right before the new year. And it was, it was made by the Iranian University of Science and Industry. It's called Zafar 2. And they had a, an earlier one. It, it didn't reach orbit. There was some problem. So they've built another one and they're going to try again. And like I said, they have already successfully launched other satellites into orbit in the past. So the likelihood of this succeeding is, is pretty good. I mean, every, every space program, including the United States and, and Europe and Russia, have setbacks, have failures, have... Uh, payloads that don't make it into orbit. And of course, Iran is facing a lot more pressure and working under uh, more difficult conditions, I guess you could say. And so this is something we have to keep an eye on. Now, of course, this part about, despite US criticism, uh, you'll see it mentioned, well, here they're saying Iran was previously slammed by the United States for sending a satellite into orbit earlier this year. So even earlier this year, they have sent satellites, a uh, satellite into orbit, and it was ridiculed and mocked by officials in Washington. Um, you know, building your own rocket and your own satellite and then sending them both into orbit is not an easy thing to do. Only a small number of countries can actually do that, and Iran is among them. And uh, the U.S., of course, uh, on so many levels. Uh, would oppose this because one, it means despite all of the, the pressure the U.S. has put on Iran over all these decades, Iran is still able to, to successfully develop its aerospace industry and achieve these sort of milestones that, again, other countries who are not under that pressure cannot do. Um, being able to build a rocket that can achieve orbit has a lot of dual purpose uses too. And this is kind of the excuse the U.S. uses to condemn Iran's space program. And of course, Iran, by being able to put satellites into orbit, is expanding its capabilities economically and militarily, of course. So, you know, it's, it's a milestone for Iran. It is um, something that Iran can be proud of, but it's also... Uh, an improvement on capabilities that Iran will have from now into the future. When, when they have viable satellites up in orbit, this will enable communication, navigation, surveillance, imagery, all kinds of things that, that would further enhance Iran's already capable economic and, and, and military abilities. So I think uh, this was an interesting article. It was pointed out to me by a reader and I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate news tips that people show to me. Um, and I think people should keep an eye on Iran's space program because when the U.S. is trying to convince people that Iran might might collapse at any day, that the, the regime is on the ropes, and then they're still able to launch payloads into orbit, it kind of shows how hollow U.S. rhetoric is. And, you know, they say the same thing about Russia in China as well, even though China is overtaking the U.S. at this point. Um, one more article that I saw when researching this, all Iranian environmental satellite unveiled. And this gives you some background information 
about this series of satellites because now they have two of these. Uh, they show you about the size of it. It's not an, an enormous satellite, but it's not a mini satellite either. They have ones that are much smaller than this too. And um, they give you a little background on what it will be doing. It will be doing imagery, basically. They'll be able to make, you know, giant maps and, and things of this nature from using the satellite. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, you know, Iran is, uh, is a hot spot right now. Uh, as the U.S., the charade begins, you know, transitioning from Trump to Biden, uh, they're going to have to tr try to figure out how they're going to explain why Biden doesn't go back to the nuclear deal and why U.S. Iranian tensions are going to have to continue escalating. So keep an eye on Iran uh, in, in that matter. And then also let's keep an eye on their space program because it's interesting. Of course, uh, when a country like Iran makes this sort of achievement, maybe it'll inspire other nations that are not global superpowers, but aren't, you know, small either. Maybe it'll inspire them. Maybe they'll realize that this is an achievable thing. And, you know, the more when, when there is like a cutting edge of technology or, or the limits of what humans can do, um, the more people who try to do it, the, the quicker we will break into that, that uncharted territory. And then uh, everybody benefits from that. So here is Iran. I'll be covering uh, the Chinese space program a lot more uh, next year because there's a lot of things coming up that I think a lot of people don't even know about. And that they're going to be surprised when they see it because uh, they've been planning a lot of things for a long time and they're all you know, starting to come together all at the same time. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then, of course, SpaceX in the United States. Um, there are going to be some incredible things coming this year as well. So I'll be watching all of it. Um, to my Patreon, uh, Patreon patrons who make these videos possible, thank you very much. And if you're watching this when I post it publicly, please like and share the video. Think about subscribing to my channel. That helps the channel grow. It's totally free to do, and I greatly appreciate that. And to everybody who is helping in every way, big and small, I honestly could not do it without my supporters, my readers, and, and now my audience for these videos. So thank you very much. And as always, thank you for watching.